this Dylan Mulvaney just went and interviewed the president of the United States. But because, I'll show you a clip of Dylan doing the um, interview with our with our president. But then what I want to talk to you is about what uh, to you about is what came out right after that. Here's Dylan with Joe Biden. Uh, Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. God and- love you. Okay, so Dylan sits there, interviews the president of the United States, and then it comes out that Dylan, um, not long ago, Dylan's only been trans for about two minutes. Um, (laughs) Dylan had a post not long ago talking about how what we really need to do is, I'm looking for it here, embrace the bulge. That Dylan didn't feel comfortable. This is a man who's dressing like a woman. Dylan didn't feel comfortable um, having to run around and taping Dylan's penis down all the time, but loves to wear super tight clothing and really felt that we need a concerted effort to, quote, normalize the bulge on trans women like Dylan. In other words, it's it should be normal for you to see somebody who looks like that in a super tight swimsuit with a penis sticking out, and Dylan shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable as Dylan gets stared at by people who are like, what the fuck is going on here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Hardcore, no. Mm-hmm. He is a absolute disgrace. And I think that every minute he gets airtime is just disgusting. I think that his 15 minutes or two minutes of fame mm-hmm. is completely done. Um, it's an insult to all women. And shame on Ulta for having two men discuss what girlhood is and womanhood is yes. and motherhood is. They have no idea. Mm-hmm. It's it's an insult to women, and every woman in America should be out, outraged about this and speaking out about it. If you are not speaking out, you are complicit in this. Mm-hmm. It's so, yeah, if, can we just spend a minute all, on that? That, that, that they they use Dylan at Ultra Beauty and some other trans guy. I don't even know if he's trans. He's he's a man with a beard and a long blonde wig. They those two who have never been. I don't know. He says he's, he, how can he be cisgender? He looks like a woman. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. My, my team's talking to my mayor. The point is no yeah. one there had a girlhood. No one on no. the panel had a girlhood. And these people who want to pretend that they, that they did, that they understand what it's like to be a woman or what it's like to have been a girl because they, they just, they dress like us for two minutes are delusional. I was talking to my friend about this. Think about your girlhood, right? Think about when your breasts developed and we first got your period or in Leah Thomas's case, where you first had to swim in the middle school pool when you had your <laughs> new period and you didn't understand what the hell. And like every girl who had that moment were like, they didn't understand the, t- the pad tampon situation, had yes. an embarrassing moment at the school. Yes. All that's just the anatomy stuff, never mind yeah. the emotional stuff that comes with it. And yeah. like, they've never had any of that. Talk to me once you've had to be bloated and your hormones have gone, like none yeah. of it. They don't know what it means to be a woman. And How that's about reducing us Men to our smallest Men don't have cellulite thing. and they're allowed to compete at Miss Universe. That is not fair. <laughs> Good point. No woman's ass looks like that. No woman. <laughs> uh, I know, it's crazy. And you know what? It's, it's celebrating mental illness is yeah. honestly, like if we're being, gonna be totally frank, that's what it is. And then we're being told that if we don't call a triangle a square, then we're the crazy ones. It's like, no, you, yeah. you don't, a triangle is not four-sided. You know, it's you, what we are witnessing is complete mental illness being celebrated under the guise of inclusivity. And if we aren't celebrating along with them, then we're the crazy ones and we're the bigots. But I think that it's so far past time that we get beyond the name calling. You know, that's Carrie and I have been living in that for a long time where it's like, call me what you want to call me. I don't care because the world's falling apart and my daughter is going to be affected. Yeah. And so we that's where we're at. California. Just, the, name, the name calling is, isn't is scary anymore. It's not scary well, enough you got, for us you, to stop talking. You got to be strong because you live in super blue California. And I don't know, San Diego, I think is a little bit more right balanced, mm. but- Mm-hmm. Um, not but so we want to show women across this country, like we're standing up in California. This crap is not going to take place here. So w- what message does that send to the mom, the single mom in Alabama? This <laughs> we're standing up. What happens here happens everywhere else. And we're seeing that you saw Plano, Texas. I mean, this is, mm-hmm. this is going to happen across the, across the nation. And so Brit oh, and yeah. I really want to give people hope. We are fighting this here. And I want to give people that are listening encouragement to stand up. The time is now. Now is not the time to retreat. I know you got a little bit of freedom back, but now is not the time to retreat. Now is the time to double down, stand up, fight back, go to the front lines and really push back against this agenda because our kids are suffering. You know who doesn't have spooky meats? Good ranchers. They deliver America's best meat and seafood to you year round. 
No costume of labels, no gimmicks, just great meat that shows up right at your door. Their October feast special just got even better. You can get up to four pounds of meat for free. Think about that, four pounds. That's that's a lot. That would cost you a lot in the grocery store. Order any box and get over two pounds of their better than organic chicken breasts for free. And if your order is over 300 bucks worth of delicious meat, you will also get two pounds of their Wagyu ground beef thrown in there too. Mm, treat yourself. Head on over to goodranchers.com slash Megan, and that's how you will claim your special October feast of four free pounds of meat today. Join the tens of thousands of Americans getting 100% American meat delivered right to their door. Store-bought meat can be tainted with scary bacteria, and it has ghoulish inflated prices to boot. Good Ranchers lets you save $25 on every box and lock in your price when you subscribe. Put an end to your meat-buying nightmare by visiting goodranchers.com slash Megan to get over four pounds of high-quality beef and chicken for free. The real monster is not under your bed. It's actually in your fridge. Take control over your food with an October feast from Good Ranchers. American meat delivered. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.